Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call Halalim, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah Kadash. Devil honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect. I came out there pushing the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. I write and present their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scripture teach us to do. Shalom to the very, 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 very few sisters that listen up as well. I'm the brother Yar Meyer from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. This is brother Uriah. I got the elder brother Uriah with me, you know, a star studded guest. And uh, yeah, we just about to get right to this shit, man. We was talking about the um them power towers. You know, everybody know. And with the power of five. <laughs> the power of five. Got you know, G's up there. Got them G's. <laughs> Those some G's on that bitch. You gotta talk slick and shit. You gotta talk slick, you gotta, you man. You gotta talk jive now, too, too, too. But that's the spirit. We going back to jive talking. Yeah. Hey, but hey, hey, but you know what's what's spiritual about that? I mean, it also shows the um, you know, the feminine of the word. And it also shows exactly what the Lord said. With stammering lips in another tongue, shall we speak? That stammering goes in the mocking, man. That's it. You know, I actually learned that from this brother, but that, that, <laughs> you niggas are being mocked worldwide, man, because y'all done took that shit, and uh, he, he about to crank up, you know, that's why the scripture says, seeing all these things be destroyed, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, and that's why, you know, this is just a, uh, a spiritual in transit, you know, a spiritual wreck, you know, we really got to be prayed up in these days, and really be in the spirit of um, Psalms, the 91st chapter, because all, all hell is a break about to break loose and, and I always bring this out man Under Yahweh Shai The greatest ever in creation Under Yahweh Shai King David was the mightiest man To ever Walk the earth in battle Alright to ever deal with the mental Physical and spiritual battle In this truth And he said that the Lord This is the man who had credibility of slaying tens of thousands men with his hands And he said that the Lord was his shield and buckler He did not trust in his flesh man so you got to really be prayed up for the shit that's about to go down, man. You want and, to say something, brother? Yeah, and, and he kept his sins ever before in Psalms 51. Yeah. So he was humble. He, he he walked his walk. Matter of fact, I was just thinking about it. The brother, uh, one of the elders had mentioned Shemay, or Shemai, uh, uh, who was throwing rocks at him. And yeah. he could have went and flexed on him. He said, no, maybe the Lord is jacking me up. Leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord ended up getting him back. But to show you the humility of uh, one of the mightiest men on the earth. Yeah, yeah, he could have killed the ant with a slug chamber, but he wanted to. Now, I'm going to show you something spiritual, because when I think about that story, all right, this time of Solomon was a time of peace, all right? The time of David, you know, David established a kingdom. The Lord said he had a lot of blood on his hands. That's right. But King Solomon, as a king, you still want that respect to his, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> so the Lord left him around. So Solomon can get his respect. That's right. So he can get his own name in the streets and didn't have to live off his daddy just being the killer. And I understand that. That was deep. Yeah, so that and nigga he, and it it's like go, he, no, did go it, ahead. he did it through wisdom. Exactly. You know his wisdom was so wonderful. And uh, people would come dignitaries all over the you know, the regions and areas and so forth would come travel. All over the known world. Uh, the, uh, absolutely. Would come over to, to Solomon for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And David was showing him that. That's why when you go into the Chronicles, right before David died, I use this as a precept, you know, so I, I, mean, I, I can only roughly paraphrase it, but it goes in the following the Lord with all their heart. But I use it as a precept for Jeremiah 17 and 9, when he said, who can know it? I, the Lord, the heart is deceitfully wicked and desperate above all things. King David let Solomon know that also in other words. So he was teaching him uh, judgment. Even when you go to the scriptures, he say, lo, I go the way of all the world. I'm dying. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you this. <laughs> That's right. You know, I, and he really gave him a lot of wisdom and he really gave him a lot of judgment, man. Mm -hmm. You know, even though the Lord put the spirit in Solomon was the Lord himself, but that father-son connection still had to be shown. Listen, the scriptures say the things that are written aforetime before our learning. And now, you know, us speaking what we speaking and becoming joint heirs slowly but surely with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ratazah, the father is showing us things, man. So he's using Yahweh Shah, our big brother, to show us things. He's priming us to be those kings and those judges mm. for eternity, you know. And he's he's teaching. Prime. Matter of fact, the brother uh, for Spirit of, uh, of the Wind of Judah in Mississippi. Yeah, the he, elder brother Zahab. Yeah, Khan. He did Khan. A, he did a wonderful lesson, and he was you know saying that Yahweh Shah is basically uh, wants us to make it. He's rooting for us basically. He does, I forgot the, the 
complete yeah. title, but it was something to the effect of the Abishai wants us to make it, you know. And he was saying that, Lord, if you put a spirit in you and you were super, super aggressive, he'll probably have you go through some things right now to pull you back. If you're his brother who's really kind of soft and laid back, he's doing putting you through some situations that's going to lead you to be a little bit more assertive. Mm. He's putting us into the balance that we need to be to be righteous judges, mm. right? And I, that was very, you know, I love the way he said it, you know, because we don't always talk about balance, but a lot of times, and I've thought about it myself, <coughs> but it's beautiful because the Lord is shaping and molding us to, uh, to uh, like how he said, he said, you might have character flaws. He gave you those character flaws, not to just deal with the character flaws, but to work through them and learn and grow from them. And teach other brothers through your experience. Like yep. the brother, the brother said, I always quote the brother, I think his name, Maya Collar. He's, um, I know he in the LA camp. I think he got out, he always do the sit, yeah. sit downs in the car. Okay. He did that one video with the Lord, come look us up, man. You know, I always quote with him what he said it's a lot if I got the brother's name wrong but uh, he has said I always quote him and I give him his credit because I'm a player you know he always said man that a smart, a smart man you know learns from his mistakes a wise man learns from a smart man's mistakes and see brothers like us who, who've been in it a little bit we done did a whole lot of shit so you don't have to do it now if the Lord choose you to take it through that and give you that conviction so you can really learn on it and really have some fire behind it when you telling the brother not to do it because you know it that that's that is what it is but now the time is short the scriptures let you know in the daniel 12 chapter that the, 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 they shall run through and fro and the knowledge shall be increased sure. that's daniel 12 right mm -hmm. yeah man well if it ain't they can look it up but i'm sure it's daniel no, no, 12 my, no knowledge shall increase to my knowledge that's, that should be uh and he's telling him to go standing in the light at the end it, of the day. yeah that's the one i believe so i believe it's that's not, that's it's the, the same one Daniels, right? See, I don't, yeah see, i don't know if it's in that that's yeah. the 12th chapter yeah. that's definitely mm -hmm. the 12th chapter mm -hmm. and you know so and and, and you got to think about from the time that the, the elder abba bivis you know our spiritual father the apostles the elders mm -hmm. our spiritual fathers you know and and even like when me and this brother me and this brother first hooked up Man. it wasn't listen just that was just a short <laughs> time ago 10 yeah. 11 years ago but it wasn't no, it, when we, it was probably more than that. But the thing about it is, it wasn't even no smartphones. Mm -mm, no, no. We had to come to the line with the books mm -hmm. and all that shit. But it mm -hmm. just shows you that y'all don't have to do this shit. It's certain shit y'all don't even have to do no more that even we didn't have to do, let alone the apostles, the elders, you know, men of that stature. So the time is short, man. When the scriptures say our salvation is near than when we first believe in the Ishkarite brother, um, in my camp, the brother Durak. Yes. He had posted the SOD earlier with the, uh, it was that that Habakkuk, the vision Terry. Yeah. The no way it's it. it's here now. That's it. It's here, man. It's judgment time. It's judgment time, and and see that's why a lot of these women that's been with brothers, they bucking up and uh, bugging out and, and and abandoning the ship because they they lived up their judgment. They got to get judged for that. You know, a lot of these family members who heard you talk for 10, 12, 11 mm -hmm. years, five years, three years, mm -hmm. they, 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 they sealed their faith, man. The Lord don't want them. But I never see, it's a situation that I presented the other day. I said, you know why I don't chase people, family members or women? Because I know that we all back in our lot. And just say the Lord wanted to play the game with us to prove our integrity, to see was we going to serve him and not jump shit with them, and then show us in the kingdom like... These were the motherfuckers who sold you out in your past That's life. Right. She got your dick cut off in your past mm -hmm. life. I just see, I wanted to test your integrity. That's right. That'll be some hard shit, man. Mm -hmm. And I really sit back and think of this, man. Yo, one of your fucking kids might get off out here, man. That's right. And that kid could have been somebody, you know, and I'm not saying God forbid that happened, but God, you know, give you the, the mentality and the fortitude to deal with That's that right. or a bitch breaking bad or anything happening. Man, this is Stick with the time. Lord. It's judgment time, man. That's right. You don't know what you've been. We, right, we hoping to make it. <laughs> Right, and that's what I'm saying. The scripture says a righteous man scares to be saved. We talk about that fucking Indiana Jones ass right, right, slide. Right, right, the slide through with the pull back with the head. Yeah. <laughs> this brother played baseball. He knew about that slide. That's it, bro. Nigga slide his ass right under yeah, that door. Hey, we we trying to do that. Into the day we sliding up in there. Yeah, that slide, man. That back step and that slide. You gotta get in there. You gotta get in there. So you know, it, it's the time, man. You, you got something. No, what the, you, you, you man, you're saying it right. You know, this is the time. You, 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 you they're, they're cranking up <laughs> their shit. I know that woman. dumb shit. Oh, the cat. Oh, I, 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 that so that pyramid over there is the one. That, that's, oh. the, that's how you know uh, the procedure. That's right. This niggas, that, man. See, but this is the time. This is judgment <laughs> time. This is the time of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai coming back to uh to save his people. 
This is also the time the Most High is coming back to put judgment on the earth. People keep forgetting that judgment time coincides with uh, deliverance, salvation. Time. You know what I'm saying? So we're hoping to be delivered in the name and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem, Rakan and uh, uh, we're, we're hoping to be delivered. And uh, and right now at the same time, we hope the Most High put his his hammer down on our enemies. And That's he's right. Doing it. That's right. He's doing it. That's why uh, Rap the News, you know, uh, that, took him. That monkey did three videos scoffing me, too, you back in the day. Yeah. And there's several other uh, people. Who, the, the Lord's starting to put judgment out. He's coming. <laughs> and nigga That's Tupac it. say, several other corny motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 Fucking nigga, man. <laughs> but, yeah, man, you know, unless the elder got something else, you got That's something it. else. All right. But with that being said, man. You know, hey, hopefully this video was edifying and you I came out there just endure, man. Balls mm -hmm. to the fucking wall, man. Hey, pray, repent. That's right. Daily. Mm-hmm. All right. So with that being said, I like to say call Alayum. Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakarash. Devil honors to the apostles and the elders who taught us the truth and great meals to the hopeful like I came out there endure. And Shalom. Shalom. A Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.